Back to our top story, the DPRK's claim that they tested a hydrogen bomb. We wanted to take a closer look at the difference between a hydrogen bomb and an atomic bomb, and the more modern way the DPRK may have pulled off their latest nuclear claim. CCTV's Jim Spellman reports. At the dawn of the nuclear era, tests were conducted in the desert or near the surface of the sea. But Wednesday's test by the DPRK happened deep underground. First, a hole is dug 200 to 800 meters straight into the ground. The nuclear device is lowered into the earth and the hole is filled in. Monitoring equipment is encased in lead and the device is remotely detonated. The explosion creates huge amounts of energy, triggering a seismic reaction. The heat creates a center of molten rock. Once it cools enough, another hole is dug to retrieve samples. Japan has deployed planes to monitor the air near the test site, but little radiation is expected to escape to the atmosphere, making it difficult to determine exactly what happened. A hydrogen bomb is far more powerful than a simple atomic bomb. The H-bomb uses a smaller atomic bomb to trigger a larger thermonuclear explosion. So a failed H-bomb test may look similar to an A-bomb test. The reported size of the detonation is relatively modest, it's comparable to the test that North Korea carried out in 2013, which I think has led many experts to assume that this is in fact probably a much cruder device rather than a fully fledged hydrogen bomb. To use a nuclear weapon, it must be miniaturized into a warhead, then delivered to a target. In World War II, the U.S. dropped atomic bombs on Japan using airplanes. A more likely delivery system for the DPRK would be a missile. The DPRK's longer-range missiles could potentially hit much of India and Russia and even parts of the U.S. state of Alaska, while Seoul, Tokyo and Beijing are all in fairly easy range. Given the advanced state of North Korean ballistic missile, intermediate-range ballistic missile technology, uh, it's only a matter of time if they have developed a, a workable hydrogen warhead uh, before they miniaturize it, as, as you know, every other nuclear power has done. We simply don't know enough to estimate how powerful the weapon tested by the DPRK may be. The last time that country tested a nuclear weapon was back in 2013. Experts estimate that that weapon had a yield of about seven kilotons. That's slightly more than half the strength of the bomb the U.S. dropped on Hiroshima. Jim Spellman, CCTV, Washington.